you have built your website lately and you're searching for it on google or any other search engine but it's not appearing on search results if this is happening to you here's the simple solution in this video for you guys hey guys rana here and in this video i'll show you how you can submit your site on google search console and microsoft bing webmaster tool so without wasting more time let's get started and i'm going to show you how you can submit your site on these popular search engines or in fact any other popular search engine you can submit your site with this method so let's get started okay so in this video i'm going to show you how you can submit your site on google and bing so i'm going to divide this video into two parts so let's begin with our part one in this part we are going to look at how to submit our website on google search console so let's go ahead log in into your wordpress dashboard so you can see here this is free website i have created this website with free domain name and free web hosting in fact, it doesn't really matter whether you have created your website with the free resources or you have a premium website, you should submit your website on Google Search Console and all other popular search engines. By submitting your site on popular search engines will help your visitor to find your website easily. If I show you my example, I have submitted my website on these popular search engines already. If you go to Google and perform a Google search for Rana's VFX, just by typing this keyword you will see my website on the top of the first page of google search result in the same way your website will appear at the top of the first page of google search results and it doesn't matter whether you have created your website recently or you have old website you should submit your site and bring your site on these popular search engines to make that happen we are going to do two steps in step one we are going to install a plugin Let's go to the dashboard of your WordPress site and hover your mouse over plugins and click on add new and come over here and search for Yoast SEO and install this plugin and then click on activate. Okay, once you install and activate Yoast SEO, let's hover your mouse over SEO and click on general. Now click on configuration wizard. So now we have to go through with these nine steps to complete this configuration wizard. In first step, we have the environment. Please specify if your site is under construction or already active. In your case, it should be already active. Select first option and click next. And here, select your site type. If you have blog, select blog. If you have e-commerce website, select online shop or you have news channel or any kind of website you have you can choose from here so in my case i'm going to select a blog and click next and third step you have to choose organization or person does your site represent a person or an organization in my case it represent a person type the name of your person here you can select your website user and click next in fourth step, simply click on next. In fifth step, select no and click next. And now scroll down, type your website name and then click next. So here, simply select no and then click next. Now scroll down, click next. Okay, we have done it. Let's go ahead, click on close. Okay, so our website SEO configuration is completed. Now, in the second step, we are going to submit XML sitemap on Google search engine. So, let me show you how you can do it. So, in the dashboard of your site, hover your mouse over SEO and then click on general. In the general tab, let's go ahead and click on features tab. Scroll down and you will see this option XML sitemap. Click on this icon and you will see a link which says see the XML sitemap. Click on that. So this is your website XML sitemap. Let's copy the XML sitemap. Don't copy entire URL for Google Search Console. Just copy the last text and then go to Google and perform a Google search for Google Search Console. And open up first website. Now click on start now. So here you can submit your site with two different methods. You can submit your site with this new way 
or you can submit your site with this URL prefix. This is the easiest and simplest way. So we are going to submit our site with URL prefix. To do it, just type your website URL and then click on continue. Okay, so in this page, we have to verify the ownership of this domain name. To verify the ownership, there are a couple different methods that you can use to verify your domain authority. First, you can upload this file on your web hosting and second, you can copy and paste HTML tag on your WordPress website. So let's look at both of these methods one by one. First, we are going to upload HTML file on our website root directory. To do it, first let's download this site by clicking over here, click save and open your web hosting. So in my case, this is infinityfree.net. So I'm gonna log in into my account. Let's click on manage under my account. Let's go ahead, click on file manager. Let's go ahead, click on htdocs. So this is your website root directory. So let's go ahead, upload this file that we just downloaded. Drag and drop your file over here. Okay, so you can see we just uploaded this file and let's go back to Google search console and click on verify your website ownership will be verified. Okay, so this is the first method that you can use to verify your ownership. You don't have to use both of them. Just use one method to verify your ownership. So in case if you're not able to access your file manager, don't worry, I'll show you another method to verify your domain authority. First, let's go ahead, delete the file, right click, delete, confirm. Let's come back to Google search console. Let's go ahead, click on HTML tag and let's copy the tag. Let's go to your WordPress dashboard. And here we are going to install a plugin. Let's go to plugins and click on add new and come over here and search for insert header and footer and install this plugin by WP beginner and then click on activate. Once you install and activate this plugin, let's hover your mouse over settings and then click on insert header and footer. So in the header section, paste your tag that we have copied from Google search console, scroll down and click save. As soon as you do it, Let's come back to Google search console. Now scroll down and under the HTML tags, click on verify and your ownership will be verified. Okay. Let's go ahead. Click on go to property. Click on start. Click on got it. Close this. Once you do it, let's go ahead. Click on sitemap. Now we are ready to submit our sitemap. Let's copy our sitemap once again. Come back to Google search console and paste your sitemap and then click on submit. Okay, so this is how you can submit your XML sitemap on Google search console. By submitting your XML sitemap will help your visitor to find your website pages, posts and categories. From now, Google will crawl your website by sending a bot on your website and it will fetch your website properly within, within 28 to 48 hours. After that, your website will be indexed on Google Search Console. Okay, so let's begin with our part two. Now we are going to submit our website on Microsoft Bing Webmaster Tool. To do it, let's perform a Google search for Bing Webmaster Tool and open this website. So here, click on sign in and you can sign in with your social media accounts. Let's go ahead, click on Google, select your Google account. Okay, so this is our Bing Webmaster tool. In order to submit your site on Bing Webmaster tool, you can use two different methods. First, you can import your site from Google Search Console. Second, you can submit your site manually. The fastest and easiest way to submit your site on Bing Webmaster tool by importing your site from Google Search Console. It's pretty straightforward. By clicking on import button, you can import your site from Google Search Console. But in this video, I wanted to show you guys two different methods to submit your site on Bing Webmaster Tool. First, I'll show you how to submit your site manually on Bing Webmaster Tool in case you are not able to submit your site by importing from Google Search Console. Okay, so let's go ahead, type your website URL and then click on add. 
so guys here you have to verify your site ownership again we have two different methods that you can use to verify your domain authority first you can upload xml file on your web hosting or your website root directory and next you have html meta tag that you can copy and paste in your website to verify your domain authority okay recently i have shown you how to upload xml file on your website root directory by going to file manager next we have html meta tag you can copy this tag let's go to your website and here make sure you have this plugin installed which call insert header and footer by wp beginners once you have it go to settings and click on insert header and footer and here you can click over here and press enter come to the second line and paste your meta tag scroll down and click save and then go to bing webmaster tool and verify your domain authority so this is exact same process that we have done recently on google search console okay so i'm not gonna verify this domain authority with manual method let's go ahead click on cancel so let's look at how to submit your site on bing webmaster tool by importing your site from google search console let's go ahead click on import click continue select your google account now click allow and here click on import congratulation site addition successfully now click done all right so this is simple and fastest way to submit your site on bing webmaster tool and lastly let's go ahead submit xml sitemap on this bing webmaster tool to do it let's go ahead click on sitemaps so you can see sitemap already submitted it already submitted because we have imported our site from google search console if you are not able to see your xml sitemap there you can submit by clicking over here submit sitemap and here you have to type the entire xml sitemap url just copy the entire xml sitemap url including your domain name slash sitemap underscore index dot xml let's come back to this website and paste your xml sitemap and then click on submit your xml sitemap will be submitted all right guys so this is how you can submit your website on google search console and microsoft bing webmaster tool so in the same way you can submit your site any other popular search engines so i hope you learned something from today's video if you really did don't forget to hit the like button that would be appreciated and don't forget to check out these two videos right here okay so if you are new to the channel consider subscribing that being said goodbye and i'll catch you guys next time